Here we are at step three, equal pay. This video will show you how to work out your wages under the Equal Remuneration Order, or ERO. You'll need to know your modern award classification level before we start. Working this out is covered in video two. There have been three parts to the decision by the Fair Work Commission on equal pay for social and community sector workers. The ERO decision overall sets a percentage increase for each classification level in the modern award. Part one of these videos covers the first two parts of the ERO decision in more detail. Here we're concerned with the last part of the ERO decision that was handed down on June 22, 2012. It says that if your rate of pay was higher on your old state-based classification, you'll need to hold both your state-based classification under, for instance, the Sachs Vic Award 2000 or the TAS CSA Award or the Clerical Admin Award and your modern award classification to work out how equal pay applies to you. Now that sounds complicated, but here's the picture. The ERO Clause 5.3 states that the employer must first apply the 2012 annual minimum wage increase to both the old and modern award pay rates, then apply the ERO increases onto either the minimum wage as classified under the new SHADS modern award or the wage under the old state-based classification, whichever is higher. If your wage is higher on your new SHADS award classification, you can let go of your old state-based classification. You get the SHADS award wage and you only need to hold the one modern award classification. If your rate is higher under the relevant state award, then you need to hold both old and modern award classifications to determine your ongoing equal pay increases because your wage increases will be applied to the state-based wage until the SHADS award rate equals it in 2020. This graph shows an example of the ERO phase-in from 2012 to 2020. The blue line shows Category 1, the pay increases for people on the Modern Award. The red line shows Category 2, the scale of pay increases for people who hold two classifications. Without the decision from Fair Work on June 22nd, the red line people who held two classifications would have stayed on the same rate of pay with no pay rise from 2012 until pay for blue line people with a single Modern Award classification caught up. The June 22nd part of the ERO ensures that people holding two classifications immediately benefit from the equal pay increases to all award wages. Now let's have a look at what this means in dollars and cents in a couple of examples for each category as of July and December 2012. Here's an example. Using the TAS CSA Award Level 5 Grade 2 classification and translating to a SHADS Modern Award Level 5 Pay Point 3. First, let's look at Category 1 where the rate of pay for the Modern Award classification you translate to is higher from July 2012. If this is you, you only hold that classification. On July 1st, 2012, there was a 2.9% increase from the annual minimum wage review decision at that time. The TAS CSA Award pay rate then went to $964.10 per week. When the annual minimum wage review decision was applied to the SHADS Modern Award level, the pay rate was then $977.20 per week. The new classification and pay rate then is the Modern Award as it's higher. From December 1st, 2012, the ERO was applied. Using the same example, the ERO percentage rise for SHADS Modern Award Level 5 Pay Point 3 is 37%. Step one is to apply the ERO amount to the SHADS classification to find the total wage increase by 2020. 37% of $977.20 is $361.56. So when the ERO is fully applied in 2020, the person currently earning $977.20 will get $1,338.76. Step two. Subtract the current wage from the 2020 wage to identify the total wage increase by 2020. $1,338.76 minus $977.20 equals a $361.56 pay rise. Step three. To identify the first instalment amount, divide the total increase by the number of years. $361.56 divided by nine years equals $40.17. Step four, apply the annual instalment to the payable wage. 
$977.20 plus $40.17 will equal $1,017.37. You fall into Category 2 if the rate of pay for your TAS CSA classification was higher than the Modern Award classification pay. You'll need to hold both classifications until the Modern Award rate catches up. This may take until 2020. This is because ERO Clause 5.3 says you're entitled to the higher amount. Remember, from July 1, 2012, the 2.9% annual minimum wage review pay increase took effect, regardless of which award you were classified under. For example, from July 1, 2012, a person on the TAS CSA Level 4 Grade 1 classification gets a 2.9% increase. Therefore, the annual minimum wage review would have increased their pay to $893.30 a week. If this person were translated to the Shad's Modern Award Level 4 Pay Point 1, they would receive $848.20 per week. However, this employee will be paid $893.30 per week because their rate is higher under the old award. Remember, under the ERO Clause 5.3, you'll be paid whichever is the higher pay rate. Using the same example, from December 1st, 2012, you apply the ERO. Step one is to apply the ERO amount to the SHADS classification to find the total SHADS wage increase by 2020. $848.20 plus 32% or $226.42 equals $1,119.62. Step two, identify the real increase on the payable wage and $1,119.62 minus $893.20 equals a $226.42 pay rise. Step three, to identify the first instalment amount, divide the total increase by the number of years. $226.42 divided by nine years equals $25.16. Step four, apply the annual instalment to the payable wage. $893.20 plus $25.16 will equal $918.36. Watch the last video to find out how these changes to the legal industry minimum standard impact on workplaces where there are collective agreements, the funding situation and other frequently asked questions.